Hello friends, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching this video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about IVPAF stock or Ivanho Mines Limited. Now, first of all, this particular stock is listed in OTC market. So the risk and volatility will exponentially be on the higher side. And if you are not comfortable with both risk and volatility, then please stay out of it because things can become very risky in an uncertain time. Now, what we're going to look in this particular stock as far as IVPAF is concerned. So let me show you what is happening. So first of all, there is a consolidation that's been going on. Okay. So here we can see there is a price consolidation and it's been going on for the last uh, one, one and a half year. So this is how and where the consolidation is going on. So let us just discuss about this range. Then we are going to discuss about the big trend. So the price consolidation is happening in between five and ten and a half dollars and uh, most probably it is now moving toward five dollar but this is about the very near term price action this is nothing to do with the big trend because we are going to discuss about the big trend what we can see here is the next big downside or if it uh, moves again towards the lower end of the range there lies an opportunity why because if I do look at the big price action, what we can see that there is an uptrend that is going on. And in between that uptrend, there is a correction or consolidation that's been happening. Okay, so there is a lot to look at as far as the upper end of the range is concerned. And don't try to time it. If there is an uptrend, just go with the flow. It may take uh, time or it may move faster. I mean, that is... Uh, nobody's deal you cannot control it until and unless you are the one who is uh, uh, you know responsible for that price movement so anyways the levels which we are going to look at not only in the short term but also in the long term is in between 4.3 and 4.97 basically if the stock started trading below this particular line you will see a downside that will start again so don't go below this line that's the most important thing to understand over here so here we are uh, so let me so this is 4.6 not uh, it's 4.6 4.6 and 4.9 is something which we are going to look at so don't try to go below this level otherwise or basically you you can also draw the line and don't try to go below that now what we have on the upside uh, number one is ten and a half dollar for the very near term and the next price move or next upside will only resume once the stock started sustaining above ten and a half dollar and once that happens what we have in the upcoming years will be in between 38 and 68 dollars moving forward so this is something which we're going to look at so basically what is happening is you know upside then downside and this upside is continuing Okay, it is taking time, but it will continue until and unless it touched the upper end of the range. So that's how the probability works out. And this is what we can see over a period of next couple of years. So this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.